What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitedly Random. And I've been thinking while I was on the toilet this morning, um, and not a lot of my videos come with trigger warnings. I feel like my life is pretty much my life. But this video comes with a little bit of a trigger warning because I guess the past is catching up with me and I feel a little bit differently than I've always felt about it today. So let's talk about it. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So as I sat on the toilet this morning, I thought about my childhood and I thought about my pain. And the very first person that came to mind was my older brother. Um, I think that there was a lot of pain there that affected me for many years to come. Things that I'm still working through. Um, I have a video that went up where I was just talking to you guys and then I just broke down crying. And um, there was a conversation that I had recently in which, you know, someone was like, you know, you talk a lot about sex, you know? Um, and I was thinking, when did sex become a topic for me? Now, YouTube, don't flag it. It's just the word sex. But we know what that means, right? Um, and I think the word sex really became a conversation, like, later in my life. And that's not to say that there wasn't perverse things that had happened to me when I was younger. Um, you know, I kind of grew up with like a general knowledge of certain things. Um, my brother at one point had a uh, addiction to watching certain things and I kind of was aware of it, but not really understanding it. Um, there's a lot that goes on in that realm of understanding. And I also remember how uh, after my mom found out about what happened with my brother, um, she was so upset and that caused me to try to take on the responsibility a lot more. Oh, you know, I told her something along the lines of, oh yeah, you know, it was my decision and blah, blah, blah to kind of make her feel better. I had to comfort, comfort my mom about my own trauma. Um, and that was the catalyst for my mom to kind of like give up on me in a way, at least how I see it. Because once I said, oh yeah, it was, it was me, it was me, you know, because I saw how much it hurt her. She leaned, then leaned into it being all of me, all of my fault. And it made her easier to be like, oh, well, you're just creating problems now. Um, it made it easier to like for her to point fingers and honestly protect the one that she wanted to protect from the beginning because the, I think the biggest problem that she was having was I think that me and my brother were not equal. Me and my brother were separate entities and she loved us differently, okay? And so when confronted by the bad thing that one person did, that you love more than the person that they did something bad to, she still wanted to protect my brother because I believe she loved my brother more. She had more of a connection to my brother, right? And we see this, like realistically, we see this in people's relationships. We see it a lot when someone you love does something bad, even if someone else did that something bad, you'd be like, oh my God, that person's a piece of shit. When it's someone you love, it's harder to draw that line. Not necessarily for me, but I really understand how realistic and how often this happens. So I'm not too upset with my mom because of that. I just, to a certain extent, it just, Because of that, I personally feel like I wasn't loved, right? And there's this, there's, there's this knowledge and it's like, yeah, 
I know I wasn't loved because of that. And it's like, it's a really, not even a hard pill to swallow, you know, like growing up and not feeling love. That's something I was just always aware of. That was just an emptiness that I always felt, you know, but in this world, love is something that we need. So I was just sitting down and just thinking about everything and just, I don't feel pain. I, I might be numb because I just found out that my dad died, but I don't feel the pain, but I do, I do want to reiterate that what my brother did to me had lifelong consequences and I don't feel like they were for him. They were lifelong consequences that I still deal with. Um, what my brother did to me made me into the person I am now and I'm trying to change myself, but it's a part of who I am. It's a part of my story. I don't feel bad letting people know my story. I will never feel bad letting people know where I came from because when I look at my entire life, I am reminded of how strong I am. And I don't tell people my story so they can feel bad for me. I just tell what's on my brain. I just speak what's in my head. And I think that as long as I'm doing that, I am a good person. So, yeah, I was thinking like, was I, I had a thought like, was I secretly in love with my brother? No, I wasn't in love with my brother. I had no possession to him. Seeing him made me disgusted even when the uh, situation was happening. I was scared of him. He had a lot of power. Like realistically, he had a lot of power. I could tell from a young age, I was one of those kids that were hip to what's going on, like aware. The, the young person with the old soul, I was aware, but still very lost and confused with a very strong lack of boundaries. Boundaries that I'm still working on today. I wasn't secretly in love with my brother. I didn't have this deep like connection to my brother. It was pretty much being in a jail and sleeping with the warden, okay? It was that. And at that point, I didn't realize how the, those scars, because I didn't even understand them as scars. I didn't even understand them as what they were until much later. I didn't understand that that would follow me so much in my life. I did not. I didn't understand that that would be the catalyst for my entire family breaking apart in my heart. I did not realize that that would be the whole catalyst for me having issues with black men later in the future. I didn't realize that my brother would ruin black men for me. I didn't realize. Now, mind you, to, to be completely honest, the black men, we have a catalog of pain that is not being dealt with that then further, further pushed me away from the black men. But I didn't realize at its core, my issues with black men would be my brother. But it is. So what do we do with that information? Um, if you are new to my channel, it's a channel in which I explore my heart. I explore my head. I take what's running around in my head and I put it on a video. I don't know the purpose really of this channel, but I think to a certain extent it's a video diary. It's me letting out the pain and the hurt that I felt and I'm putting it out in the world and can someone transform it into health, health, transform it into healing for you, transform it into something positive. Because while it's in my head, it's overthinking. While it's in my head, it's hurting me. That is why I overshare. That is why I speak 
on so many things. That is why I show up. So yeah, I talk a lot about sex. But when it comes to interacting with other humans, I would say that's really all I know. Much love and positive vibes. I hope to see you sometime later. <laughs> and uh, leave a like and a comment. And uh, bye.